Is Anne a feminist? Yeah. I, I would like to say yes. Thank you for your heartfelt congratulations, Mr. Blythe. But allow me to inform you that next time, I shall be first in every subject. Here's a little girl who's considered trash. She has no value. She's an orphan. You don't want me? You don't want me because I'm not a boy? She's not considered beautiful. How do you do, Mrs. Lind? Well, her looks are certainly nothing to consider. I mean, she's terribly skinny and homely, Marilla. Come over here, child. So already the things that are defining the value of a woman, uh, her class status, her beauty. An awful heart, her hair's as red as carrots. She doesn't have those. Dare you say I'm skinny and carrots? What does she have? Fierce intelligence and creativity. That is to be cherished. Chrysanthemum, C-H-R-Y-S-A-N-T-H-E-M-U-M. Correct. Is that not by definition what every feminist would want for every woman, every young girl on this planet? The right to have her voice, the right to equality, the right to be seen as an individual person, not based on their gender, but on the quality and content of their character? I fully intend to win that Avery scholarship if hard work can do it. I never knew a girl with such ambition. She chose to find elements of gratitude and beauty in places where, um, when she had not always been on the receiving end of, of that kind of level of kindness. And that's a pretty beautiful message.